In 1970, Jochen Rindt became the 30, was the 34th man to ever win the F1 championship. But the way he did it was so tragic. He only had one career win going into 1970, and that was at the Watkins Glen Grand Prix in 1969. He started off the year with two non-point finishes, but then at Monaco, he was in second going into the final corner. Jack Brabham went to defend and went skidding off the course, handing the win to Rent. After a DNF in the next race, he would go on to win at France, and then he'd win the next week at the Netherlands, and then once again at Great Britain, and then finally he also won at Germany. The next race after a DNF was at Monza, and Denny Holm described it all as Jochen was following him for multiple laps, and he eventually caught him, and then going into the parabolica, Jochen slid off the track, and his car was torn into pieces. Because of the way he designed, well, he had the car, there were five harnesses, and he only used four, so that in the event of a fire, he could get out easier. When his car struck the barrier, or the guardrail, whatever it was, the, he slid under the belt, and one of the belts fatally slit his neck open. By the time the marshals got there, it was too late. Jock and Rent was dead at 28. Because of the big championship lead he had after winning those five races in that year, Jackie Ix could not catch up. And at the 1970 awards ceremony, Jackie Stewart handed the trophy to Nina Rent, um, Jockin's widow, in a bittersweet moment. It makes many wonder, what if Jockin Rent ha didn't die? Could he have gotten more championships? His legacy will live on as the only posthumous F1 champion.